Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I saw some people asking for a rematch for the Sukhoi 57 versus the F-22. Obviously, these are both 5th generation fighters. So I thought we could play a little game of cat and mouse here in the mountains. Uh, we have, obviously I'm in the Sukhoi 57. We have Patriot sites. We have uh, S-300 sites. We have all this stuff here. Uh, and we'll probably switch it up, by the way. I'll probably grab the F-22 after this round. Let's see what we can do. We got on radar here, very small signature off in the distance there. I locked him and he locked me at the same time. Yeah, look at that. It's definitely something in the air over there. It's obviously the F-22. Uh, we'll go ahead and let's break contact here. You see these big mountains? I'm going to try to fight from here. Uh, I'm going to basically set up a shooting position <laughs> in these mountains and I'm going to constantly sling missiles at him and I'm going to hide behind these mountains. Uh, that's going to be my plan. And we'll see if he closes into me, if he pushes me. You know, we'll see how this plays out. Come over the top here, let's see if we can find him. See if he's still pushing me. He is. Here he is. Got him. He's closer now. We're almost in range. Let's get some speed. Here we go. In range. Fox 3, and then I'm gonna pull to the left. We're gonna break left and hide behind this mountain here. It can be really challenging to get one of these missiles to connect to a stealth aircraft uh, just because... Hold on, we gotta get behind this ridge. Yeah, you can hear that missile coming in. Uh, because even if you maintain lock on him, like if he keeps me locked the entire time, his missile will eventually go pitbull. And when it goes pitbull... There it goes. It's safe. We're good. It's dead. We're gonna sneak around this side. When it goes pitbull, what's gonna happen is it's gonna turn on its own radar. And when it does that, you know, if I can be in a reduced radar cross-section kind of environment or something like that, that missile may not be able to see me. So, you know, because missile radars are generally not as good as the aircraft itself, but, you know, so you can you can really defeat a missile when it goes pitbull is almost the best time to defeat the missile, although it's a very small window of opportunity, if you will, because uh, that missile is technically it's in terminal guidance, so it's about to hit you. <laughs> I went back up there to try to find him, and I couldn't find him. So I did a little loop, and I'm ducking down here, but I hope he doesn't see me. Another missile. Breaking this mountain here and see if we can survive that. I think... I think we're okay, but we gotta become offensive again because I bet you he's pushing me right now. Constantly trying to hide behind these mountains here. Alright, alright, hold on. He's gotta be over here somewhere. In this general direction here. I'm staying committed, even though that's a missile. Oh, I got him. Got him on radar here. Locked. He's outside of range. Get a little bit closer. Fox 3. I got all kinds of Sams looking at me. We gotta defend here. So his strategy has been, now I know, he's been shooting at me from outside of range because uh, he carries six AMRAMs, I only carry four R-77s. Let me duck behind this mountain here. Uh, that missile was actually somewhat in range. So his, his tactic has been to shoot those missiles from long range and then, you know, try to push me as I defend them. 
Uh, but luckily I managed to get a missile out at him. So last round, uh, the R-77, <laughs> with his last little bits of energy, uh, found the F-22 trying to cross our ridgeline there and hit him. Uh, we watched the replays there, it was quite an interesting kill, you don't often see that. Um, but like I said, we're going to switch it up, so this time I'm in the F-22. Uh, we're going to see if we can play this a little bit differently from the F-22's perspective. Uh, got him on radar already at 14,000 feet. Uh, not going to shoot from here, of course, we're a little bit too far out, so let's go ahead and climb. Uh, climbing here, of, of course, is going to increase my range for my missiles, but it's also going to make me vulnerable to S-300 sites. You can see a bunch of clamshells that are searching for me. Uh, we got a big bird who just came online. These are all S-300 radars and track sites and things like that. Track radars. Um, and as you can see, there's a Patriot site in the back also on the RWR there. Uh, we got a Sukhoi 57 nails. Uh, so he's pointing his nose at me now. So we'll go ahead and shoot here at 17 miles Fox 3. We do have a little bit of reaction time, so I'm trying to hold the lock best I can to try to give that AMRAM a good chance of keeping him illuminated, but that's it. We broke lock. So I'm going to defend now below this, uh, this mountain here. His missile is tracking me also. Okay, we should be all right. Theoretically, it would have hit that ridge line right there, so we're okay. I'm going to go ahead and recommit over this mountain line here. I'll try to recommit quickly and find him again. Alright, he's got to be over here somewhere. I'm scanning like fairly high as well. Uh, you can see on my radar screen I'm about 32,000. Bring it down a little bit, because he's probably low. We got a bunch of the SAM radars are back up looking at me. Uh, looks like there might actually be a clamshell who is trying to paint me. We're working the radar here, scanning all the altitudes, low, high. Uh, not really seeing a whole lot of nothing, so we're going to turn in this direction here. We'll search in the direction of this other S-300. Still don't see anything. I don't like this. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. I'm also just, like, I'm scanning the ridge lines right now with the Mark 1 eyeball. Looking for, oh, there he is. Right there, right there, right there, yeah. Fox 3, and we're hitting the notch. Chaff out, chaff out. 90 degree notch and chaff. And oh, I hit him. <laughs> something, uh, something exploded over there and the missile went by. I think we're good. Did I hit him? Did my, mi did my missile hit the mountain as well? He's like over there. He's flying or something, hold on. Oh, no, he ejected. He fell. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay, so he popped over that ridge line, and I shot him with an AMRAM, and then immediately went 90 degrees and dropped chaff, and that defeated his missile. So uh, that was very close to being a mutual kill. Uh, let's go over this ridge line. Yeah, there's the smoke. 
We got him. Confirm that kill. Splash one, uh, Sukhoi 57 fell him. There's the parachute. Uh, that's going to be a difficult pickup for a uh, combat search and rescue. <laughs> Out of a mountain like that. Okay, we'll do one more round. Of course, keep in mind that we do these videos with these 5th gen fighters. This stuff is like highly classified. It's all based on publicly available information. A lot of speculation going on in terms of uh, stealth and performance of these aircraft. Alright, um, I have him on radar here at 12,000 feet. Got him locked at 29 miles. There he is, way in the distance there. Got a slight offset. Nineteen miles now. Fox three. I think I could kill him a lot easier if he wasn't operating within this SAM net here. Uh, I'm just scared of going too high because I don't want to get shot by S-300s. Um, so I'm in this little valley here. Should be safe from any missiles. We broke to the left. I'm going to recommit here from the right once again. See if we can find him on the ridge lines. At ranges like this, inside of 20 miles and stuff, uh, stealth is not really going to be a big factor, I don't think. We have him at uh, 14 miles now, and he went high, look at this, he climbed high. I think he thought I would be looking low, which is actually a safe bet. <laughs> I was, I spent a lot of time looking low. That's a Fox 3 in the air, and we'll defend here. I do think he was trying to set up an ambush up high where... You know, I wasn't scanning for him when he was going to come down on top of me. He defended down in this general area, in these mountain crevices. He's around here somewhere. What is that? Oh, look at that. Those are... <laughs> that's a weird place for radars. Is that like a SAM site or something over there on <laughs> the top of a mountain? <laughs> okay. Couple of flares in case there's like man pads and stuff around here. I don't want to get shot down by a man pad. Uh, where is he? he sh yeah, I swear he came over here somewhere. And I'm staying above the uh, clouds here because then I can see him, a little black dot against the clouds. But I don't, I don't see him. Let's go below. Maybe he's below. It looks like he's maybe not below either. He's oh, he's definitely below. He's 